Dez Stanley here, AKA CEO Dez, co-owner of the incubator CLE, one-stop shopping entrepreneur resource center, primarily focused on marketing and social media. Um, you, you name it, we do it, you know, photography, website design, logos, business cards, um, graphic design, um, you know, the list goes on podcasting, content creation. Um, you know, we're, we're here to serve you, uh, based out of Cleveland, Ohio, but we do work with people, you know, all over, you know, with the technology of today, we're able to provide services really wherever you are. So, uh, definitely visit our website, www.theincubatorcle.com. Learn more about us, reach out, and uh, we look forward to working with you guys. Um, today, uh, this is the first one. I'm going to be doing several of these, a little mini series. Free information. Free information. Um, you know, these are some of the things we work with our clients on and really try to add value. You know, that's what we are. That's what we do. We try to add value. We don't want to just sign a contract and you know where it's it's deeper than that you know once you once we begin working together it's a it's a family so um we're here to see you succeed and today we're going to be talking about your target market your target market who who are you selling to who <laughs> Who, who's your target market? Who, who do you want, who do you expect to buy your product or service? That's the question. Target audience. Do you know? Do you know who your target audience is? Think about it right now. Who's your target market? Do you really know? Have you really put the time and research in or are you like most entrepreneurs, which, you know, don't feel bad. I've done this as well. A lot of people, when they just start out, they think, oh, anybody who, you know, wants or needs my service or product, that's who I'm marketing to. That's, <laughs> that's who, you know, that's who I want to go after. But this is, that's not the right way to go about it. When you're trying to find your target audience it needs to be defined it needs to be a niche market to start out sure you might grow i mean look at nike even nike i'm sure has a niche uh, a target market but they're so large at this point you know um but you're not going to start out like nike let's i'm gonna go over a couple different ways you can go about defining your target market. Who's your target audience? Who you should go after? Where do they come from? How can you figure this out? We're gonna go over that now. So, I mean, you don't wanna start too crazy. You're not gonna redefine the wheel. You're gonna start by looking at your current customer base. Who are they? Why do these people buy from you currently? What What is it that draws them to you? Kind of try to find their common interests, their their common characteristics, and use those because I'm quite sure that there there are other people like those people who already buy from you who could also who could also value from your product or service. So right there, you're already boom. You're retargeting. You're using that data that you already have, you already collected to help you grow in the future. Again, this is something that people often overlook. You have to look at your competition. First off, you gotta know your competition. A lot of people don't even know who their main competitors are in the market. You have to, you have to know that and you have to study them. You look at your competitors, who are their targets? Who are they targeting? Who are their customers? You're not gonna try to steal their market, especially if you're a smaller brand, 
and you might be looking at, you know, a, a much larger competitor, maybe a box store or a retail store, you're not going to try to steal their market. That wouldn't be smart because they have millions of dollars for marketing. But you are going to see if they possibly overlooked a niche. They might have overlooked something that you can capitalize on and take advantage of. Next, you're going to analyze. You're going to really deeply analyze your product or service. You're going to write a list of all of the features of your product or service, and then you're going to write the benefits of that feature. And after that, you're going to go even deeper. You're going to make a list of the benefits of the benefits. Let, let me, let me get deeper. Let me, let me uh, break it down for you. So for example, myself and the incubator CLE, I'll use us as an example. So a benefit of us, of the service we provide is, for example, graphic design, and I'll use that. We're gonna provide a clean corporate professional image for your brand. You're gonna have a clean professional look for your customers and in return, the benefit of that is your customers are going to see you as and take you more serious. You're going to seem more professional. It's going to be clean. They're going to feel more comfortable shopping with you or using your service. Um, for example, just having a professional phone set up and not your personal um, you know, cell phone number having a professional email customer facing and not a Gmail, um, just little stuff like that, that is gonna add so much value in the end. That wasn't graphic design, I got a little <laughs> off topic, but just little stuff like that is gonna add so much value. Um, so yeah, you're gonna create that list you're gonna go through there, get your benefits, everything. Then, once you're done with that, you're gonna create a list of the people who would benefit from those benefits. You get it? Create a list of your benefits, everything that you're adding value, how you're adding value. Then over here, you're gonna create a list of people who need the stuff that you had over here. It's, 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 while you're making the list over here with the people who could benefit from the stuff that you put over here, you want to choose certain demographics to target. So don't only think about who needs or who could benefit, but think about who will actually buy the the product or service. Does that make sense? Like you're not gonna you're not gonna market like for me, I'm not gonna necessarily market to teenagers because unless they have a successful business or some type of funding, they're not gonna necessarily have the money to purchase my services. I'm not saying I wouldn't work with them, but that's not my main tar. I'm not gonna spend a lot of marketing dollars going after teenagers who might have a business because, I mean, that's just common sense. So you have to take that same principle and use that for your a apartment manager, building manager. You're not gonna target um, people under 18 or 19 or 20, really, because maybe 20, maybe 20. But again, it, can they afford it? If you're, uh, for example, if you're a high-end luxury 
a furniture store or brand manufacturer, you're not going to target people who have a, a income of lower than, you know, 20,000. I don't think anyone, I mean, I'm sure there are people, but you're not going to target people who can't afford the product. If that, that just, you know, that kind of makes sense. I hope <laughs> you want to, you want to think about things like age, gender, uh, their geographic location, their income level, their ethnic background, their occupation, their education level. These are all things uh, that you definitely want to take into account. Those are the kind of more broad things you want to consider uh, in demographics, but you also want to consider the psychographics. Psychographics. Um, these are the more personal um, characteristics of your target. So their attitude, their lifestyle. Um, and then you want to really consider like, how is your product or service going to fit into this person's lifestyle? What features of your product or service are key, are really going to benefit your target? Those are the things you're really going to want to highlight in your marketing campaign and in your content creation. Another thing to consider, how, are, how does your target receive media? Are they on social media? Do they read the newspaper still? Are they reading a paper newspaper? Are they online? Um, are, they, are they active on Facebook? Is it more of a TikTok? Is your target uh, audience more into TikTok? Are they YouTube viewers? Um, these are all things that you have to take into account because you might wanna spend more of your marketing dollars in one space or on one platform as opposed to another. And that could save you in the long run if you're getting a higher ROI. And then uh, in conclusion, you wanna evaluate your decision. So once you've done all that research and you've come up with what you think is your target market, you wanna really evaluate that and be honest and be true with yourself. And that's gonna really save you in the long run. Um, you gotta think about, are there enough people there in that space? Um, you know, you don't wanna find such a unique defined target audience that there might not even be enough people to really benefit from you know there has to be there has to be some type of want some demand for the product or service um, I, I'm all for being creative and starting something new but there there has to be you got to at least prove first that there's the demand there before you just go gung-ho um, you know for something that's just way out there Will your target really benefit from your product or service? Will they really get something from your product or service? And will they see a need for it? So once you provide the service or they get the product, will they see a need for it? Will they be satisfied? Will they wanna return as a customer or client? Do you really understand what drives this target market to make their decisions. You have to analyze and really understand and grasp what's the, what are the decision, the deciding factors for this target audience. And then you're gonna play on that on the marketing side. Like, that's why I just love marketing because you can, <laughs> I mentioned this earlier, can they afford the product or service? And that's no like discrimination or anything like that. That's just being real. Your product or service costs this to you. Therefore, you have to charge this. Can they afford this? Because you have to charge this. You can't 
come back, uh, you have to charge this and then up and up and up. That's the, that's the goal. Then lastly, can you reach them with your message? Are they easily accessible? And that kind of goes back to what I mentioned earlier. Where are they receiving their media? You know, are they old fashioned? Are they still reading paper articles? Or, you know, can you do some Instagram or Facebook ads and get out in front of them pretty easily? Um, these are all things you want to take into account. That's all I got on this episode, man. Thanks for tuning in, CEO Des. Again, we'll be, I'm going to be doing a lot of content like this, free drops, free gems. Uh, we are taking new clients right now. Um, you know, I hope to work with some of you. Um, contact information will be attached below. And um, yeah, man, stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Turn on post notifications. Be dropping a lot of free information. Man. I got a, a lot of information I want to share with the people. Um, you know, I got a couple of friends who've been on me to start doing this and possibly sell some courses. So, um, you know, I just want to gauge the audience again. I'm here to help right now. Free gems. And uh, I hope you learn something and can take something from here and apply it to your business. Let's get money, man. 2022. We, we running up.